Hello from Lloyd BMW South Lakes. Today we have this BMW X4. It's an M40i. It's 2020 car registered in February, which puts it on a 69 plate. It's covered just less than 13,000 miles. Uh, this one has the M Sport Pro Pack and the Technology Pack. You can see the black grills on the front there, the sort of aggressive bumpers. Under the bonnet, you've got a three litre petrol turbo engine, so it uh, gets a shift on when you want it to. It's set on these very nice 21 inch alloy wheels in gloss black. Being a performance model, you can uh, see you've got the M performance brakes there as well with the blue brake calipers, so uh, plenty of stopping power as well as a go from the engine. If I come further back, you can see the X4 sort of coupe like styling at the back uh, as the roof slopes away. The paintwork on it is black sapphire, and inside the car we have the Vanaska leather interior, also in black. Part of the Pro Pack, you get the M colours in the seat belts, which is very nice. It's also got the technology pack on here as well. So you've got nice things, little things like electric seats, electric windows all round, electric tailgate, electric folding mirrors, memory seats, and the excellent Harman Kardon sound system as well. A bit chilly today. What is it there? Six and a half degrees here in the Lake District. I'll just jump inside. You can see the mileage there as well. So 12,893 miles. Um, like modern BMWs, foot on the brake to start it as long as you've got the keys on you. Press the uh, start button and the, the car will come to life. Shows you a countdown to your next service there as well. Um, Big satellite navigation screen, as you'd expect. Um, it's also got DAB radio, Bluetooth feet as well. It's a touch screen, um, or you can control it from the eye controller down here, which is what most people uh, most people do. Whilst I'm at the screen, um, I was putting it into reverse. You've got an eight-speed automatic gearbox. Press the button on the side, push it forward to reverse. You can see you've got parking sensors all around. Uh, you've got a camera as well, and the passenger mirrors just drop down so uh, you can see your wheels so no excuse for, for hitting those uh, curbs let's put it back into uh, park uh, put it back onto the map a couple of air vents below there you've also got favorite buttons so you can store people's names and numbers on there you've got dual zone climate control uh, heated seats in the front so I'll just put that on one um, below that you've got this little tray here you've got a couple of uh, drinks holders 12 volt supply uh, USB place to put your key uh, and a wireless charging tray as well which is quite, uh, quite handy as I mentioned eight-speed automatic gearbox great gearbox leave it alone it'll sort itself out if you feel like you need to change gears manually on the uh, steering wheel you've got downshifts paddles and upshift paddles on the on the right there you've got traction control button different driving modes or just leave it in adaptive it'll sort itself out parking sensors button hill descent control find yourself on a slippery slope going downhill press that button and it'll control your descent electric handbrake with an auto hold feature i drive controls the screen up there nice big comfortable armrest with some storage and a usb-c so it gives you a little bit of fast charging in there Nice aluminium trim which runs through the certain console on the dash and on the door cards. Ambient lighting, you can change the colours on that, I quite like the blue. Nice uh, glove box, big glove box in there. It's a Harman Kardon sound system we've talked about. Right, I'll show you the uh, rest of the cards. Turn it off. So I come around the back of the car, said privacy glass on the rear uh, windows. Harman Kardon sound system continues. Passengers get their own climate control with a couple of USB-C ports down there to charge their devices or phones. Uh, three seat belts across the back, a little bit more room on the two outer ones, and the two outer ones also have ISO fix as well. So if you've got kiddie seats to go in there, you can lock them in place. Come around the back, so M40i badging on there. Um, just come down you can see where the camera is above the number plate there to open the boot you can either press the badge or you can do it on the uh, on the key really nice big boot on these and you can see that uh, it's a split uh, rear seat as well so you've got the uh, what's that 40 20 40 split on there so loads and loads of space you've also got a, a hook over this side and a 12 volt supply 
and under here just pull that up you've got a little bit of extra storage lock your wheel nut key on that side and then you've got some extra storage over here Put that out of the way so you've got your first aid kit and your warning triangle on that side as as well just slots back in uh, back in place uh, to close the boot you can either press the button or if I step back because I've got the keys on me uh, you can close it on the key which is quite a nice function obviously you can open it on the key as well so just press and hold that and the boot closes which is said a nice little feature put an exhaust out the back there x4 badging and there you have it. So this car is currently for sale with a said February 2020 car, uh, done less than 13,000 miles. Really, really good looking car. Stunning uh, with the black paintwork and the black wheels and the black grill. Uh, so if it's of interest, then give us a shout. Uh, we can arrange any test drives, finance figures, anything like that. In the meantime, I appreciate the watch. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Bye for now.